And what are these modules? The price is $1 of course with welcome deal but the regular price is $2.7 and what is it? It says that it's working this module from 5 volts to 36 volts, 15 amperes, maximum 30 amperes, 400 watts, dual high power MOSFET trigger switch drive, PWM regulator adjustment motor speed control board module. And as I can see we have input and output and you can control with PWM module. I order it and I got it. No bubbles. This is a tiny module but very powerful. 15 amperes. The dimension is 33 millimeters by almost 17 millimeters. And what it says in description? It says 15 amperes, 400 power, wide voltage input support PWM, working voltage from DC 5 volts to 36 volts. What it says? The signal can be supported frequency range from 0 to 20 kilohertz out, output capacity DC 5 to 30, 36 volts we know that okay working temperature size tiny but powerful can this thing really handle 15 amperes it have only two SMD MOSFETs and there are no number on, on, on those but on the picture I can see that is D4184. Let's search for that. I found a data sheet for these MOSFETs and what it says? It says that can handle drain source voltage 40 volts, gate source voltage 20 volts and continuous drain current at 25 degrees 50 amperes. At what? At 100 degrees, 40 amperes. All right. Let's see the close-up. Behind its market, it, where it says voltage input positive and negative, and voltage output positive and negative. And on these terminals, we have ground and trigger point or PWM input. We have the two MOSFETs. The input and out output terminals and we have one LED for indicating that it's working XY MOS version 921 okay let's connect everything okay let me explain the wiring on these wires we have DC input voltage that will be hooked up on my power supply right here. We have the MOSFET module that I show you from AliExpress for $1. We have input and output and on the terminals where it says ground and PWM control I hook up my frequency power width modulation module that, that I also have a full video review. I will put the link in description below as I as load I'm using a car bulb this one is I think 55 watts that work on 12 volts so we have input output is the the bulb and we we are controlling the the MOSFET module with my P PWM adjustable frequency and duty cycle module that have a separate supply power supply Okay, let's try. I know it's a mess, maybe look complicated, but it will work fine. All right, and we have a small because small light because we are right now at six percent, and with the digital multimeter, I'm gonna show you that I'm sending. 
5 kilohertz yes the module is set on 5 kilohertz you can see here and when I measure with my multimeter reading is 5 kilohertz now I'm gonna increase the duty cycle and look I can control the brightness of the car bulb using this PWM module through the powerful MOSFET 25 30% duty cycle and we are pulling 1.9 amperes at 12 vo volts all right working fine let's go a little bit more 2.7 amperes little bit more 60% 3.4 amperes 12 volts and super bright let's go to the maximum 100% and it's pulling 5 amperes maximum of my power supply right now it's pulling 5 amperes at 12 volts that is around 60 watts and I, I can adjust with my frequency meter frequency generator PWM module controlling the MOSFETs are they hot? no look I'm holding the the finger and they are not hot because they are rated at 50 amperes working great I hope you love today's demonstration of how you can control control a load through the MOSFET module using a P PWM module for adjusting the duty cycle and uh, the frequency. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya!